Hey everybody, uh, now it is time to learn about resistance and resistivity. So what is the difference between resistance and resistivity? We learned about resistance. We said resistance is just basically R and R is given by V over I, which is the voltage over the current. Okay, now what is resistivity? Okay, let me let me start by this introduction say you have three pipes you see those three pipes here okay and you have water flow through each one of them the same amount of water is flowing through the same uh, through all of them which pipe you think will pass water faster than the other okay i hope you have chosen this one to be the first one and the fastest one and the reason is this one is you know bigger meaning that the cross sectional area here is big and it's also shorter so the length of it is going to be short and the water will spend less time in it and that means that less resistance now the second one is probably this one this one is as short as this one as you can see so the length of it makes makes the same as measures as the same as this length but as you can see it is less uh, cross-sectional area than this one so the water going through it is not going through a great length but it's going through like a tight space now the le the last one will help water go through it is actually this one and the reason is it's really long so it's twice its length and this cross-sectional area here I'm gonna call it A2 is smaller than the cross-sectional area here so the same thing you can think of applies for a current when it goes through uh, a wire okay so for example if there is a current that is going through a wire then maybe we can actually think of of it like water going through a pipe all right so if we want to think about resistance you can tell that resistance of the material uh, is 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 uh, proportional to the length so it seems that it's increasing with the length and that makes sense we saw that here and it's also decreasing with the surface area and maybe I should change this uh, equal sign to a proportionality because it's a proportionality we still don't have all the information if we change this proportionality to equal sign we have to multiply it by a constant L over A so that's what R is so R basically is increasing with the length decreasing with the area and there's a constant between them they came out and they said hey let's call this constant the resistivity so the resistivity think about it as a intrinsic property of the material itself so this resistivity depends on material of the resistance which when I say material like when you make a when you make a resistance out of gold is different when you make the same resistance out of copper or out of ceramic or out of, out of any other material so the resistivity is kind of like an intrinsic property it's actually it comes with the material you cannot take it out of the material so if I change that here so I'm gonna call R is equal to the constant and resistivity is the constant I'm gonna call it Rho it's a Greek letter R is equal to Rho L over A okay so again you can memorize this equation or you can understand it and I think understanding it is is kind of like not too hard because R is increasing with L decreasing with A and the resistivity is the what the constant of the equation okay now for for example the surface area of of this and the surface area of this you can find it if it was a disk for example the surface area for a disk is equal to pi r square and you can put that here if needed to find the or solve an equation now what is the 
let's write this equation in terms of uh, in terms of rho instead of in terms of r so cross multiplication okay you get rho l is equal to a times r then rho is equal a times r divided by l okay now let's find out what the unit of ohm of resistivity is unit of res this is the, the unit of r okay times the unit of a from here divided by the unit of l okay the unit of r is ohm we know it times the unit of the surface area is meter squared divided by the unit of the length which is meter meter with the square goes away so the unit of rho is actually ohm meter so that's the unit of the resistivity and for example if i give you a, if you, i give you for example gold and plastic which has more resistivity of course the plastic has a lot more resistivity than gold and your measure of that or your judgment judging of that should be what does this um, material allow for the current to pass it pass through it easily or not um, for example if you have uh, iron as a material or silver which one passes current easier if you uh, you know if you had this knowledge before you will know that silver passes the current easier than the iron this means that the iron has higher resistivity than the silver okay um, pencil you know the pencil which is made out of carbon carbon you know, like your pencil like the one you used to write with it has extremely high resistivity but it is not an insulating material totally so if you bring a, a, a battery and you connect it to your pencil lead you can still connect uh, um, electric current if it was short but if you make it a little bit longer you will not be able to uh, connect the current and that's an interesting thing so resistivity actually defines the material itself so for silver ag resistivity is much less than the one for fe or less okay and you know gold is is better than than iron but i think ag which is silver is better than uh, uh, gold and there are there is a table of resistivity i will show you now so here i went to if you just go to google and basically um, look for any table of resistivity many tables will come up i'm just going to look at this one for example and copper which the resistivity is measured in ohm dot meter 1.7 times 10 to minus 8 so here they should write actually ohm dot meter not ohm meter um, the aluminum is 2.7 times 10 to minus 8 so the aluminum has more resistivity than copper and that's why they use copper to transfer electricity in wires between houses and between streets and between the power station to the houses and all and so forth graphite the resistivity for it is a little bit almost a hundred times bigger than the copper at eight point times 10 to minus 6 and graphite is the same material that is used in your pencil uh, silicon is 2.3 times 10 to the power 3 that's a, a billion times more than graphite quartz 5 times 10 to the power 16 ohm meter you see the span between 10 to minus 8 to 10 to the power 16 as a matter of fact uh, the most notorious constant in physics is actually resistivity it actually spans from minus 8 or minus 9 to 10 to the power 16 or even more so it spans really uh, big time um, the opposite of resistivity is actually conductivity and it's measured opposite of ohm meter so it's not ohm meter it's per ohm meter okay so if the resistivity goes up conductivity goes down they are totally opposite to each other so the conductivity is one over the resistivity 
and that makes sense so let's go back here so if I write down here that the resistivity actually is known as sigma let me write it here is sigma is equal 1 over rho so it's exactly the opposite of rho you don't I don't think we we're going to ask you about this, but this is just a good knowledge to know. Okay, so the conductivity is opposite to the resistivity, and its unit, of course, if this is ohm meter, this will be the unit of this one over ohm dot. So let's have this example here. In this example, we have a wire that is made out of gold with a diameter 0.02 millimeters so it is very very thin it's it's even thinner than the human hair and its length is 300 meter its resistivity is given and is equal to 2.4 times 10 to minus 8 ohm meter we need to find its resistance so r is the unknown here okay and if r is the unknown we can use this equation if you will so this equation r is equal to the resistivity times the length and divided by the uh, air surface area okay now rho which is the resistivity is given to be equal to 2.4 times 10 to minus 8 ohm meter divide uh, multiplied by the length of 300 meters so basically this is a very long uh, gold wire and it's very thin and uh, I think those are used in the computer chips or uh, um, PCB boards where they can make a, uh, what they call them like the motherboard of the computer or something like this um, they use you they use gold sometimes um, so now so this is rho L divided by a whereas a a is the since this is a wire, we assume it is what? A circular wire. Okay, that makes sense. So we need to find the, the area, which is pi r squared. We are given the diameter, though. So we know that the diameter is equal to r, or twice the r. Then r is equal d over 2, because the, the radius is half the diameter. So the, if 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 this is R, so R will be 0 0.01 millimeter, okay, millimeter, 10 to minus 3 meters, okay, so that's the radius, okay. Now let's look here, so this is pi R square, so 0 0.01 square, okay. And if I make this calculation, I get R is equal to 22,929.9 ohm. So that's what the resistance of that gold wire is. Okay. Sometimes we like to write this this way. So 22.9, I'm going to round it, 3 kilo ohm. Resistance come in many, many values. They can start from like 1 ohm, or and they can go up to mega ohms. So some resistance actually impedes the current so much, like, uh, and um, their value is big, like in the millions of, of ohms. Um, as a matter of fact, when the current goes through the resistance, sometimes it gets warm because of all the electrons who, which are trying to go through the resistance, but the resistance is impeding them so this kind of like interaction makes it a little bit warm so to avoid burning the circuit they use something called ceramic resistance because ceramic can take a lot of uh, heat okay thank you very much